Hi, my name's Phil. I like talking about politics and in this video I'd like to discuss a little exchange I had on Twitter with a Brexit supporter of the view that her vision of Brexit didn't materialise, not because it was based on lies and unicorns, but because the Tories didn't implement what she voted for. Now this is not an uncommon belief amongst those who still believe in Brexit, but it is also one of those areas in which I often ask a question which they're never able to answer, and this was no exception. Now, I am just going to know, although I'll describe the gist of the exchange, I, I generally don't do this sort of thing. I don't like to mention people who, they're not influential. This is, this is just someone on Twitter, right? It's a normal person like me. Um, the lady in question was, unlike so many on Twitter, willing to engage, wasn't rude, wasn't dismissive. Uh, I wish more people were like that. We may be able to have more sensible discussions. Yet, I never did get an answer to my question despite asking multiple times. And effectively, it was all kicked off by the statement on the part of this Brexit supporter in question. So I'll quote this bit. Leaving the EU didn't fail. The Tories failed to deliver what we voted for. So my inevitable question is, so what did you vote for? I didn't waste time asking her about the referendum. So because those who voted leave in 2016 only voted to leave the EU. That was it. And we left the EU. So those voting leave got exactly what they voted for. So I worked on the assumption she must have meant voting in the 2019 general election and that she must have voted Conservative. She didn't contradict me when I suggested this, so we'll go with that. So I asked, so what policy did she vote for that wasn't implemented? And she replied that she voted to reduce legal immigration and stop the boat people. Now, in actual fact, she did not vote to stop the boat people because this was not considered a serious issue in 2019 and no mention was made of it in the 2019 Conservative Manifesto. So let's look at the legal immigration issue instead. If this person voted Conservative in 2019, giving the Tories their mandate to implement their vision of Brexit, what specifically did she vote for? She didn't answer that. That was my problem. She didn't answer it. But let's go through all of their immigration policies. Now, there were five immigration policies within the Conservative Party manifesto. Some of them are mentioned more than once, but there are five distinct policies, four of which are, are related to Brexit. So the first one was to introduce a points-based immigration system. Well, the Tories did that. So they implemented what she voted for there. Second, that this immigration system be based on skills, not country of origin, no special um, like uh, exceptions for members of the EU or anything like that. Again, this was done. Third was to end freedom of movement. They also did this to great fanfare from Priti Patel at the time. The fourth was to actually boost legal migration for people who would make the biggest contribution. Now, it's not clearly explained what biggest contribution means, but as the Tories view people who make more, more money as inherently superior and their immigration system did actually make it easier for high earners to come to work in Britain than was the case when we were EU members, then she must also have voted for this and that was indeed implemented. Then the fifth immigration policy, which wasn't a Brexit policy, they could have done it with or without Brexit, they promised that something like Windrush could never happen again. Now, given that it did carry on happening, and no legislation was implemented to prevent such a reoccurrence, as far as I can tell, this is actually an immigration policy the Tories did not implement. Uh, but I don't think the lady in question was complaining here, because this was an immigration policy that didn't do anything to restrict legal immigration, and also it was nothing to do with Brexit. Um, so I don't think this is the one she was complaining about. But that was it. Five specific immigration policies, four of which were Brexit-related, all of the ones designed to manage levels of legal immigration, which is what she said was her particular focus, they were all implemented. And they were all implemented as described in the manifesto. You can't even say, oh yeah, they implemented it, but they seem to change it here. But no, they, they did it exactly as it said in the manifesto. Which I think is why, despite asking several times for a policy that she voted for but wasn't implemented, I didn't get an answer. I even asked right at the end, so maybe it makes it easier, could you just quote me a line from the manifesto? No, no response. And this, I think, is the problem that this type of Brexit supporter has. I've talked about this concept in politics a lot. You know, sometimes people confuse what is an outcome aim and a policy. A lot of Brexit supporters want lower levels of immigration because they think current levels are a problem. Now, we can argue that they've got this bit wrong as well, but never mind that, that's a separate issue. 
But what they don't seem to appreciate is, so you can't have a policy of lowering immigration. Lower immigration is an outcome. You can have a policy designed to achieve that outcome, but you have to distinguish between what is a policy, something you can implement, and what is the desired outcome. Like flapping your arms is a policy. The desired outcome is being able to fly, okay? Flapping your arms doesn't make you fly. But you can't have a policy of flying. You can only have a policy of something that will allow you to fly or intended to allow you to fly, but then it turns out it doesn't work after all, you know, like using Brexit to lower immigration. So you can have a policy which aims to lower immigration and Brexiteers and the Tories are like suggested such policies, but the only ones anyone actually voted for which got a public mandate were the ones in the 2019 Conservative Manifesto. There was nothing in the 2016 referendum about immigration. It was purely, do you want to, do, should we be members of the EU or not? And that was it. There was nothing even about the single market or freedom of movement or anything. It was membership of the EU. That was it. What was in the 2017 Conservative Manifesto was largely irrelevant because the Tories lost their majority. And so the mandate was not established. They also not only lost their majority, but lost power in 2024. So again, there was no mandate for anything in the Conservative Manifesto from this year. The only mandate for this lower immigration was in the 2019 Conservative Manifesto. And although there's a lot in that manifesto which was not implemented, I have to say every single Brexit immigration policy was actually implemented as described in the manifesto. So Brexit supporters did get implemented what they voted for. What they didn't get were the outcomes that those policies were supposed to provide. But that's because the policies did not lead to those outcomes. It's the flappy arms trying to fly. You can't blame the fact that, oh, you know, if, if someone convinces you that flapping your arms will let you fly and you flap your arms, you can't say, well, you didn't implement it. You did, you flapped your arms. You just didn't get the outcome. So there's a group of Brexit supporters out there who allow themselves to be told, often by grifters in the media, oh, no, no, Brexit wasn't a terrible idea. We didn't con you into voting Brexit. No, 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 Brexit, absolutely brilliant. It was betrayed. It was betrayed by the Tories. So this becomes one of those Brexit questions that never gets answered. You know, for example, I mean, the big one is like we ask supporters of Brexit to name a tangible benefit of Brexit. Years later, still waiting for an answer that is truthful. Sometimes people say, oh, but this is... No, it hasn't. One that's truthful, tangible. How's it improved your life or anyone's life that you know? We're still waiting. But here's another question. What Brexit policy did you vote for which achieved a public mandate? So it doesn't, it's nothing in the Brexit Party's manifesto or Reform UK or anything like that, that achieved a public mandate which wasn't actually implemented. I've never had an answer to that one either. And if a Brexit supporter cannot identify a Brexit policy which had a public mandate and wasn't implemented, they cannot complain that the Tories just failed to implement Brexit. They're either going to have to accept that the Brexit policies weren't actually what they were hyped to be, or, you know, like a lot of people, they can just carry on deluding themselves, but that's not going to get them what they think they want either. But there we are. Those are my thoughts. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe for further content and click the like button. You can also sign up for memberships if you'd like to support the channel further. Thanks for watching and until next time, I'll see you later.